A is the first letter of the English alphabet. It is a vowel and has both a short and long sound. A is used in various words, serving different functions in language, and is fundamental in forming sentences and words. A and an. A and an are articles, which are a type of determiner that modify nouns. A and an are called indefinite articles because they are used to refer to nonspecific or nonparticular nouns. For example, if you say, I saw a dog, you are not talking about any specific dog, but any dog in general. The rule for using a or an is based on the sound of the word that follows the article, not the spelling. If the word starts with a vowel sound, a, e, i, o, u, you should use an. If the word starts with a consonant sound, any other letter, you should use a. For example, an apple, a banana, an hour, a house, an umbrella, a university. Some words that start with a vowel letter may have a consonant sound, and some words that start with a consonant letter may have a vowel sound. You should pay attention to the pronunciation of the word, not the letter. For example, a unit, an honest man, a one-eyed pirate, an MP3 player, a hyphen. A hyphen is not a complete word, but a prefix that can be added to some words to change their meaning. A prefix is a group of letters that is attached to the beginning of a word. For example, the prefix a hyphen can mean not or without when added to some adjectives or nouns. For example, apolitical, not interested or involved in politics. Amoral, not following any moral rules or principles. Atheist, a person who does not believe in God or gods. Asymmetrical, not having parts that are the same on both sides. The prefix a hyphen can also mean to or towards when added to some verbs. For example, arise, to get up or stand up. Awake, to stop sleeping or make someone stop sleeping. Adhere, to stick to something or follow something closely. Ascend, to go up or climb up. Aardvark. An aardvark is a type of animal that lives in Africa. It is a medium-sized, burrowing, nocturnal mammal that has a long snout, similar to that of a pig, and feeds mainly on ants and termites. It is the only living species of the order Tubula dentata, which belongs to the superorder Aphrotheria, along with elephants, hyraxes, and golden moles. Some facts about the aardvark are. Its name comes from the Afrikaans language and means, earth pig or ground pig. It has a long, sticky tongue that can reach up to 30 centimeters, 12 inches, in length. It uses its tongue to lick up ants and termites from their nests. It has powerful claws and legs that allow it to dig burrows for shelter and food. It can dig up to 2 meters, 6.6 .6 feet, in 15 minutes. It has large ears that can move independently and help it locate its prey. It can also close its ears and nostrils to keep out dust and insects. It has tubular teeth that lack enamel and grow continuously throughout its life. It does not chew its food, but swallows it whole. It is mostly solitary and active at night. It can travel up to 16 kilometers, 10 miles, in one night in search of food. It can weigh up to 60 kilograms, 130 pounds, and measure up to 2.2 meters, 7.2 feet, in length, including its tail. It has a lifespan of up to 23 years in the wild and 24 years in captivity. It has few natural predators, but may be hunted by lions, leopards, hyenas, and pythons. It can defend itself by using its claws, tail, and teeth. It is not endangered, but its population is declining due to habitat loss, human encroachment, and poaching. A back. The word aback is an adverb that means backward, back, or, by surprise, unawares. It is usually used in the phrase, taken aback, which means, to be very shocked or surprised by something. For example, she was taken aback by his sudden proposal. He was taken aback when he saw the huge crowd waiting for him. I was taken aback to learn that she had quit her job. The word aback can also be used in sailing to describe the position of a sail when it is pushed flat against the mast by the wind. This usually happens when the wind changes direction suddenly and makes the boat stop or move backwards. For example, the sail was blown aback by the gust of wind. He tried to steer the boat, but the wind caught him aback. The ship was taken aback by the storm and lost its course. Abacus. An abacus is an ancient and versatile instrument for counting and calculating numbers. It is also called a counting frame. It consists of a frame with rods or wires that have beads or other objects that can slide along them. Each rod or wire represents a different place value, such as ones, tens, hundreds, etc. By moving the beads or objects, one can perform various arithmetic operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even square and cube roots. The abacus has a long and rich history that spans across many cultures and regions. The earliest known abacus dates back to around 2700 BC in Mesopotamia. It was a flat surface with sand or dust on which symbols were drawn to represent numbers. 
Later, the Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans used similar devices with pebbles or stones on a board or table. The abacus that we are most familiar with today is the Chinese or Japanese abacus, which has a wooden frame with vertical rods and horizontal beads. The beads are divided into two sections by a horizontal bar. The upper section has one or two beads, each worth five units. The lower section has four or five beads, each worth one unit. The abacus can be used to represent numbers in base 10 or other bases, such as hexadecimal. The Chinese abacus is called suanpan, and the Japanese abacus is called soroban. The abacus is still used today by some people, especially in Asia and Africa, for various purposes. It is a simple and reliable tool that does not require electricity or batteries. It can also help develop mental arithmetic skills and improve concentration and memory. The abacus is also used to teach the fundamentals of mathematics to children and adults. Some people even use the abacus as a hobby or a sport, competing in speed and accuracy. Abalone Abalone is a common name for a group of marine snails that belong to the family Haliotidae and the genus Haliotis. They have a distinctive shell that is rounded, convex, and has a row of holes along the edge. The inside of the shell is shiny and iridescent, and is often used for making jewelry and ornaments. The meat of abalone is considered a delicacy in many cuisines, and is eaten raw or cooked. Some facts about abalone are. There are between 30 and 130 species of abalone in the world, depending on the classification system. The largest species can grow up to 30 centimeters, 12 inches, in length and weigh up to 5 kilograms, 11 pounds. Abalone are herbivorous and feed on algae and seaweed. They use their strong muscular foot to attach to rocks and move around. They also have a radula, a toothed tongue, that scrapes off the food from the surface. Abalone have a well-developed nervous system and can sense light, touch, and chemicals. They have eyes, tentacles, and a pair of ears that help them detect vibrations and sounds. They can also produce sounds by tapping their shells. Abalone are dioecious, meaning they have separate sexes. They reproduce by releasing eggs and sperm into the water, where they fertilize and develop into larvae. The larvae swim for a few days before settling on a suitable substrate and metamorphosing into juvenile abalone. Abalone are harvested for food, shells, and pearls. They are also cultured in farms and hatcheries. Abalone farming is a major industry in countries such as China, Japan, South Korea, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and the United States. Abalone are threatened by overfishing, poaching, habitat loss, pollution, disease, and predation. Some species are endangered or extinct in the wild. Conservation efforts include regulating the harvest, protecting the habitats, restoring the populations, and educating the public. Abandon The word abandon is a verb that means to leave someone or something behind, especially when you have a responsibility or a duty to take care of them. It can also mean to stop doing something before it is finished, or to give up something that you want or need. For example, she abandoned her children at the orphanage. He abandoned his car in the middle of the road. They abandoned their plans to go on vacation. She abandoned her hopes of becoming a doctor. The word abandon has some synonyms and antonyms. Some synonyms are Desert Forsake Quit Renounce Relinquish Some antonyms are Keep Stay Continue Pursue Maintain the word abandon can be used in different contexts and expressions. Some examples are Abandon ship, to leave a sinking ship or a failing situation. With abandon, without restraint or inhibition. Abandon oneself to, to give in to a feeling or a way of living completely. Abandon all hope, to lose all hope or optimism. Abandoned. The word abandoned is an adjective that means left without needed protection, care, or support, left by the owner left to fall into a state of disuse, or no longer held or thought of. It can also mean wholly free from restraint or uninhibited, or utterly lacking in moral restraints or shameless. Some examples of using abandoned in sentences are The police found an abandoned car in the parking lot. The children felt abandoned by their parents after the divorce. The old factory was abandoned and overgrown with weeds. He abandoned his dreams of becoming a writer. She danced with abandoned enthusiasm. He was an abandoned and wicked ruler. The word abandoned comes from the past participle of the verb abandon, which means to leave someone or something behind, especially when you have a responsibility or a duty to take care of them, or to stop doing something before it is finished, or to give up something that you want or need. The word abandoned has some synonyms and antonyms. Some synonyms are Deserted Forsaken Neglected Discarded Unrestrained Wild Wicked Some antonyms are Cared for Protected. Supported. Kept. Restrained. Controlled. 
Virtuous. The word abandoned can be used in different contexts and expressions. Some examples are Abandoned building, a building that has been left empty or unused. Abandoned kitten, a kitten that has been left behind by its mother or owner. Abandoned ship, a phrase used to order or advise people to leave a sinking ship or a failing situation. Abandonment. Abandonment is a word that can have different meanings depending on the context. Generally, it means the act of leaving someone or something behind, especially when you have a responsibility or a duty to take care of them. It can also mean the state of being left alone, helpless, or unwanted. Abandonment can cause feelings of fear, sadness, anger, or shame. Some examples of abandonment are When a parent leaves their child at an orphanage or with a relative, that is called child abandonment. This can have negative effects on the child's development, attachment, and self-esteem. When a spouse or a partner stops communicating with or supporting their partner, that is called emotional abandonment. This can lead to relationship problems, trust issues, and loneliness. When a person stops working on a project or a goal before it is completed, that is called task abandonment. This can result from lack of motivation, resources, or feedback. When a person gives up their rights or interests in a property or a contract, that is called legal abandonment. This can happen voluntarily or involuntarily, depending on the circumstances. Abate. The word abate is a verb that means to decrease in force, intensity, amount, or value, to put an end to or suppress something, or to deduct or omit something. It is a formal word that is often used in legal, scientific, or academic contexts. Here are some examples of how to use abate in sentences. The storm abated after three hours of heavy rain and wind. The government took measures to abate the spread of the virus. The court ordered the company to abate the noise nuisance caused by its machines. The tax was abetted by 10% for low-income earners. He abetted his claim to the throne after his brother's death. Some synonyms of abate are Diminish Subside Wane Ebb Reduce Moderate Terminate Nullify Deduct Omit Some antonyms of abate are Increase Intensify Rise Surge Augment Aggravate. Initiate. Validate. Add. Include. Abattoir. An abattoir is a place where animals are killed in order to provide meat. It is also called a slaughterhouse. Abattoirs are usually regulated by the government and the food standards agencies to ensure the hygiene, safety, and welfare of the animals and the workers. Abattoirs can also have environmental and ethical impacts, such as pollution, waste, greenhouse gas emissions, animal rights, and religious practices. Some examples of using abattoir in sentences are The animals were taken to an abattoir for slaughter. China has suspended imports from four Australian abattoirs. He worked as a butcher in an abattoir for 10 years. The protesters demanded the closure of the abattoir that was accused of animal cruelty. The abattoir was equipped with modern technology and machinery. Abbey An abbey is a place where a group of Christian monks or nuns live, work, and worship. It usually consists of a complex of buildings, such as a church, a dormitory, a refectory, a library, a cloister, and a garden. An abbey is led by an abbot or an abbess, who is the head of the religious community. Some examples of famous abbeys are Westminster Abbey, a Gothic abbey church in London, England, that is the site of coronations, weddings, and burials of British monarchs and other notable figures. Mont Saint Michel, a medieval abbey and fortress on a rocky island off the coast of Normandy, France, that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular tourist attraction. Iona Abbey, a Celtic abbey on the island of Iona, Scotland, that was founded by Saint Columba in the 6th century and is considered a sacred place of pilgrimage and worship. Shaolin Temple, a Buddhist abbey in Hunan, China, that is famous for its martial arts tradition and its influence on Chinese culture and history. Melk Abbey, a Baroque abbey on a hill overlooking the Danube River in Lower Austria, that is known for its magnificent architecture, library, and art collection. Abbot An abbot is a word that means a man who is in charge of a monastery, which is a place where a group of Christian monks live, work, and worship. The word abbot can also be used as a title of respect for a monk who is the leader of a religious community. For example, you can say, Abbot John, or, the Abbot of Westminster Abbey. Some examples of using abbot in sentences are the abbot welcomed the visitors to the monastery and showed them around. He became an abbot after many years of service and devotion to his order. The abbot was elected by the monks from among themselves. The abbot had the authority to make decisions for the monastery and its members. The abbot was respected and admired by the people in the nearby village. Abbreviate The word abbreviate is a verb that means to make a word or phrase shorter by using only the first letters of each word or by omitting some parts. 
For example, you can abbreviate the word building as BLDG or the phrase United States of America as USA. Abbreviating words or phrases can make communication more efficient and concise. There are different types of abbreviations, such as clipping, removing entire syllables from words, such as ad for advertisement or doc for doctor. Contractions, removing certain letters from words and replacing them with an apostrophe, such as don't for do not or it's for it is. Initialism, combining the first letters of multiple words and pronouncing them as individual letters, such as FBI for Federal Bureau of Investigation or LOL for laugh out loud. Acronyms, combining the first letters of multiple words and pronouncing them as a new word, such as NASA for National Aeronautics and Space Administration or SCUBA for Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus. Textees, using individual letters, numbers, and symbols to represent words or sounds, such as U for U or GR8 for Great. Abbreviation. An abbreviation is a word or phrase that is shortened by using only some of the letters or by omitting some parts. For example, the word doctor can be abbreviated as DR and the phrase as soon as possible can be abbreviated as ASAP. Abbreviations can make communication more efficient and concise, but they can also cause confusion if they are not well known or understood by the audience. Abdicate. The word abdicate means to give up a position of power or authority, especially as a king or queen. It can also mean to fail to do one's duty or responsibility. For example, King Edward VIII abdicated the British throne in 1936 to marry an American divorcee. The government was accused of abdicating its role in protecting the environment. She decided to abdicate her claim to the inheritance and donate it to charity. Some synonyms of abdicate are Resign Quit Relinquish Renounce Surrender Some antonyms of abdicate are Assume Claim Keep Maintain Retain. Abdication. Abdication is a word that means the act of giving up a position of power or authority, especially as a king or queen. It can also mean the state of being left alone, helpless, or unwanted. Abdication can cause feelings of fear, sadness, anger, or shame. Some examples of abdication are. When King Edward VIII of the United Kingdom abdicated the throne in 1936 to marry an American divorcee, Wallace Simpson, he caused a constitutional crisis and a scandal. He became the Duke of Windsor and lived in exile for the rest of his life. When Emperor Akihito of Japan abdicated the throne in 2019, he became the first Japanese emperor to do so in over two centuries. He cited his age and health as the reasons for his decision. He was succeeded by his son, Naruhito. When a parent abandons their child, they are guilty of child abdication. This can have negative effects on the child's development, attachment, and self-esteem. Child abdication is a form of child abuse and neglect. Abdomen. The abdomen is the part of the body that is located between the chest and the pelvis. It contains many organs that are involved in digestion, such as the stomach, intestines, liver, pancreas, and kidneys. It is also called the belly or the stomach. The abdomen is covered by a layer of muscle and tissue that helps protect the organs and support the posture. The abdomen is divided into four regions, the upper right, the upper left, the lower right, and the lower left. Each region has different organs and functions. Some examples of using abdomen in sentences are he felt a sharp pain in his abdomen after eating too much spicy food. She had a flat and toned abdomen from doing regular exercises. He was stabbed in the abdomen during a robbery. She had an ultrasound scan of her abdomen to check the health of her baby. Abdominal. The word abdominal is an adjective that means in, forming, or relating to the abdomen. The abdomen is the part of the body that contains the stomach, bowels, and other organs in a person or animal. Some examples of using abdominal in sentences are this virus causes terrible abdominal pain. The abdominal cavity is covered by a membrane. This exercise works your abdominal muscles. Abduct. The word abduct means to take someone away by force or without their consent, usually for a criminal purpose. For example, kidnappers abduct their victims and demand ransom for their release. The word abduct can also be used in a medical sense to describe the movement of a body part away from the center of the body or from another body part. For example, when you spread your fingers apart, you are abducting them. Some examples of using abduct in sentences are The company director was abducted from his car by terrorists. She was charged with abducting a six-month-old child. He tried to abduct her, but she fought back and escaped. Listen for a clicking sound as the child's hips are abducted. The peroneus longus extends, abducts, and everts the foot. Abduction Abduction is a word that can have different meanings depending on the context. 
Generally, it means the act of taking someone away by force or without their consent, usually for a criminal purpose. For example, kidnappers abduct their victims and demand ransom for their release. Abduction can also be used in a medical sense, to describe the movement of a body part away from the center of the body or from another body part. For example, when you spread your fingers apart, you are abducting them. There are different types of abduction, such as Child abduction, when a child is taken away from his or her parents or guardians, usually by a stranger or a family member. Child abduction can have serious consequences for the child's physical and mental health, as well as for the parents and society. Alien abduction, when a person claims to have been taken away by extraterrestrial beings, usually for the purpose of experimentation or observation. Alien abduction is a controversial and unproven phenomenon that is often associated with science fiction and conspiracy theories. Abductive reasoning, when a person makes a probable conclusion from what he or she knows or observes. Abductive reasoning is a form of logical inference that is often used in scientific discovery and problem solving. Abductor. The word abductor can have two meanings, depending on the context. One meaning is, a person who makes someone go somewhere with them, especially using threats or violence. This is a noun that is often used in relation to crimes such as kidnapping or hostage taking. For example, you can say, she was tortured by her abductors, or, it is thought that the woman might have known her abductor. Another meaning of, abductor, is, a muscle that moves a part of the body away from the center of the body or from another body part. This is a noun that is used in anatomy and physiology to describe the function of certain muscles. For example, you can say, the peroneus longus extends, abducts, and efforts the foot, or, the abductor pollicis moves the thumb outward. Aberration. The word, aberration, means a deviation or departure from what is normal, usual, or expected. It can be used to describe a phenomenon, a behavior, a condition, or a person that is different from the standard or the norm. For example, the sudden drop in temperature was an aberration caused by a cold front. His violent outburst was an aberration from his normally calm and gentle personality. She suffered from a rare genetic aberration that affected her vision. He was considered an aberration by his peers for his unconventional views and lifestyle. Some synonyms of aberration are Anomaly Irregularity Exception Deviation Distortion Some antonyms of aberration are Normality Regularity Conformity Consistency Accuracy Abet The word abet means to help or encourage someone to do something wrong or illegal. It is often used in the phrase aid and abet, which means to assist and support someone in committing a crime. For example, he was charged with aiding and abetting the robbery. She refused to abet him in his scheme. They were accused of abetting terrorism. Some synonyms of abet are assist, support, encourage, incite, instigate. Some antonyms of abet are hinder, oppose, discourage. Prevent. Stop. Abhor. The word abhor means to hate something or someone very much, especially for moral reasons. It is a formal word that is often used to express strong feelings of repugnance, disgust, or aversion. For example, he was a man who abhorred violence and was deeply committed to reconciliation. She abhorred all forms of racism and discrimination. They abhorred the idea of killing innocent animals for sport. Some synonyms of abhor are hate. Loathe. Despise. Detest. Abominate. Some antonyms of abhor are love. Like. Admire. Respect. Cherish. Abhorrence. Abhorrence is a word that means a feeling of strong hatred or disgust for something or someone. It is often used to express moral condemnation or repugnance for something that is considered evil, wrong, or unacceptable. For example, she felt a deep abhorrence for the crimes he had committed. He had an abhorrence of violence and war. They shared a mutual abhorrence of racism and discrimination. Some synonyms of abhorrence are Loathing Detestation Aversion Repulsion Abomination Some antonyms of abhorrence are Love Admiration Attraction Affection Delight Abhorrent the word abhorrent is an adjective that means causing or deserving strong dislike or hatred, especially for moral reasons. It is a formal word that is often used to express strong feelings of repugnance, disgust, or aversion. For example, she felt a deep abhorrent for the crimes he had committed. He had an abhorrent of violence and war. They shared a mutual abhorrent of racism and discrimination. Some synonyms of abhorrent are disgusting, loathsome, repugnant, 
repulsive, abominable. Some antonyms of abhorrent are admirable, attractive, delightful, pleasant, lovely, abide. The word abide has several meanings depending on the context. One meaning is to accept or follow a rule, decision, or agreement. This is often used in the phrase abide by, which means to do what you have been told or ordered to do by someone in authority, or what a law or rule says you must do. For example, you have to abide by the rules of the game. He refused to abide by the court's decision. She promised to abide by the terms of the contract. Another meaning of abide is to stay or live somewhere. This is an old fashioned or literary use of the word, which is not very common in modern English. For example, he abides in a small cottage in the woods. Wherever I go, you will abide with me. Abide with me, fast falls the eventide. A third meaning of abide is to continue to exist or last. This is also a formal or literary use of the word, which implies that something is stable or permanent. For example, his love for her abided until the end of his days. These principles have abided throughout history. Nothing abides but mutability. Abiding. The word abiding is an adjective that means continuing for a long time or not changing. It is often used to describe feelings, memories, or interests that are lasting or enduring. For example, she has an abiding love of art. One of my abiding memories of him is of his singing to a small private party. The folk song world was another of his abiding interests. Some synonyms of abiding are enduring, lasting, permanent, constant, steadfast. Some antonyms of abiding are fleeting, temporary, transient, changing, fickle, ability. The word ability means the power or skill to do something. It can be a noun or a suffix. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. Noun, she has the ability to play the piano very well. This means she can play the piano very well because of her skill or talent. Suffix, the book is very readable. This means the book is easy to read because of its quality or style. Ability can also have different synonyms, such as capability, capacity, competence, or talent. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, capability often implies potential or possibility, while competence often implies proficiency or adequacy. Ability can also have different forms, such as able, ably, or unable. These words are adjectives or adverbs that describe the state or manner of being able or not able to do something. For example, he is able to run fast. This means he has the power or skill to run fast. He ran ably in the race. This means he ran well or skillfully in the race. He is unable to walk. This means he does not have the power or skill to walk. Abject. The word abject means extremely bad, miserable, or hopeless. It is an adjective that describes the state or quality of something or someone. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. They live in abject poverty. This means they are very poor and have no hope of improving their situation. He is an abject coward. This means he is very afraid and has no courage or dignity. She made an abject apology. This means she apologized in a very humble and sincere way. Abject can also have different synonyms, such as wretched, pitiful, dismal, or vile. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different shades or contexts. For example, wretched often implies misery or suffering, while vile often implies evil or disgusting. Abject can also have different forms, such as abjectly, abjectness, or abjection. These words are adverbs or nouns that describe the manner or degree of being abject. For example, he abjectly begged for mercy. This means he begged for mercy in a very low and shameful way. The abjectness of his condition was shocking. This means his condition was extremely bad and shocking. She felt a sense of abjection after losing her job. This means she felt a state of being cast down or rejected after losing her job. Abjectly. The word abjectly is an adverb that means in an extreme or bad way, or in a way that shows no pride or respect for yourself. It is derived from the adjective abject, which means extremely bad, miserable, or hopeless. Here are some examples of how to use abjectly in sentences. The administration had failed abjectly in its duty to protect the country. This means the administration had failed very badly or disgracefully in its responsibility to safeguard the nation. They performed abjectly, losing all four of their matches. This means they performed very poorly or miserably, and did not win any of their games. I let you down all the time, he said abjectly. This means he said in a very low or shameful way that he disappointed someone repeatedly. He abjectly pleaded illness to avoid doing the test. This means he begged in a very humble or servile way that he was sick to escape taking the exam. 
Abjectly can also have different synonyms, such as wretchedly, pitifully, deplorably, or cravenly. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, wretchedly often implies misery or suffering, while cravenly often implies fear or cowardice. Ablaze. The word ablaze means burning or very bright. It is an adjective or an adverb that describes the state or quality of something or someone. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. Adjective, stores, houses, and vehicles were set ablaze. This means they were set on fire or lit up. Adverb, the chamber was ablaze with light. This means the chamber was very bright or glowing with light. Ablaze can also have different synonyms, such as a fire, a flame, a light, or blazing. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, a fire often implies excitement or passion, while a light often implies landing or resting. A blaze can also be used in different phrases, such as set something afire slash aflame slash ablaze, which means to cause something to burn or become very bright. For example, he set the candles ablaze to create a romantic atmosphere. This means he lit the candles to make the room very bright and cozy. Able. The word able is an adjective that means having the necessary power, skill, resources, or qualifications to do something. For example, you can say, she is able to speak three languages, to mean that she has the skill or knowledge to speak three languages. You can also say, he is not able to come today, to mean that he does not have the time or opportunity to come today. Able can also be used with the word to and a verb to form expressions that indicate possibility or capability. For example, you can say, I am able to help you, to mean that you can or are willing to help someone. You can also say, are you able to finish the project, to ask someone if they can or have the ability to complete the project. Able can also have different synonyms, such as capable, competent, fit, or qualified. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, capable often implies potential or suitability, while competent often implies proficiency or adequacy. Able can also have different forms, such as ably, ability, or unable. These words are adverbs, nouns, or adjectives that modify or describe the state or quality of being able or not able to do something. For example, you can say, she performed ably in the exam, to mean that she performed well or skillfully in the exam. You can also say, he has the ability to make people laugh, to mean that he has the power or skill to make people laugh. You can also say, she is unable to walk, to mean that she does not have the power or skill to walk. Hyphen able. The word hyphen able is a suffix that means capable of, suitable for, or tending to. It is added to the end of a word to form an adjective or a noun. For example, you can say, she is reliable, to mean that she is trustworthy or dependable. You can also say, he has a disability, to mean that he has a condition that limits his abilities. Hyphen able can also have different synonyms, such as hyphen able, hyphen eve, or hyphen ent. These suffixes have similar meanings, but they may have different rules or exceptions for adding them to words. For example, you can say, he is responsible, to mean that he is accountable or reliable, but you cannot say, he is responsible, because that is not a correct spelling. Ably. The word ably is an adverb that means in an able and skillful manner, with ability, skill, or proficiency. For example, you can say, he performed ably in the test, to mean that he performed well or skillfully in the test. You can also say, she ably assisted him in the project, to mean that she helped him in the project with competence or expertise. Ably can also have different synonyms, such as adeptly, adroitly, artfully, capably, competently, consummately, deftly, expertly, masterfully, masterly, proficiently, skillfully, or well. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, adeptly often implies natural or acquired skill, while masterly often implies mastery or excellence. Ably can also be used in different phrases, such as ably supported by, ably led by, or ably demonstrated by. These phrases are used to show that someone or something is assisted, guided, or shown by someone or something that is able or skillful. For example, you can say, the team was ably supported by the fans, to mean that the team was encouraged or cheered by the fans who were enthusiastic or loyal. You can also say, the project was ably led by the manager, to mean that the project was directed or supervised by the manager who was capable or experienced. Abnormal. The word abnormal means different from what is usual or average, especially in a way that is bad. It is an adjective that describes the state or quality of something or someone. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. He has abnormal powers of concentration. This means he can focus very well or unusually. The weather was abnormal for this time of year. This means the weather was not typical or expected for this season. She showed signs of abnormal behavior. This means she acted in a way that was not normal or acceptable. Abnormal can also have different synonyms, such as deviating, unusual, anomalous, or atypical. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. 
For example, deviating often implies divergence or deviation from a standard or norm, while atypical often implies rarity or exceptionality. Abnormal can also be used in different phrases, such as abnormal psychology, abnormal profit, or abnormal cells. These phrases are used to refer to specific fields, concepts, or phenomena that involve abnormality. For example, abnormal psychology is a branch of psychology that studies, diagnoses, and treats unusual patterns of behavior, emotions, and thoughts that could signify a mental disorder. Abnormal profit is a term used in economics to describe a profit that is higher than the normal or expected profit in a market. Abnormal cells are cells that have an abnormal structure or function, and may indicate a disease or a disorder. Abnormality The word abnormality means something that is abnormal, different from what is usual or average, especially in a way that is bad. It can be a noun or a suffix. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. Noun, he has a genetic abnormality that affects his vision. This means he has a condition that is inherited and makes his eyesight different from normal. Suffix, the test showed some cardiac abnormality. This means the test revealed some problem or disorder with the heart. Abnormality can also have different synonyms, such as anomaly, freak, monstrosity, or deviation. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, anomaly often implies rarity or exceptionality, while monstrosity often implies horror or disgust. Abnormally the word abnormally means in an abnormal way, that is, in a way that is different from what is usual or average, especially in a bad way. It is an adverb that modifies or describes the state or quality of something or someone. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. The success rate was abnormally high. This means the success rate was much higher than normal or expected. An abnormally large number of students have signed up for my class. This means a lot more students than usual or average have enrolled in my class. He was abnormally quiet today. This means he was very silent or not talkative today, unlike his normal behavior. Abnormally can also have different synonyms, such as unusually, exceptionally, extraordinarily, or anomalously. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, unusually often implies uncommonness or rarity, while extraordinarily often implies remarkableness or impressiveness. Aboard The word aboard can be used as a preposition or an adverb to mean on or onto a ship, aircraft, bus, or train. For example, you can say, she invited 750 people aboard the luxury yacht, to mean that she invited 750 people on the luxury yacht. You can also say, they said goodbye to him as he got aboard the train, to mean that they said goodbye to him as he entered the train. Aboard can also mean alongside, to the side, or into a group as a new member. For example, you can say, the boat pulled up alongside the dock and we climbed aboard, to mean that the boat came near the dock and we got on it. You can also say, the office manager welcomed him aboard, to mean that the office manager welcomed him into the team or organization. Aboard can also be used in different phrases, such as all aboard, welcome aboard, or climb aboard. These phrases are used to express invitation, greeting, or encouragement to get on or join something. For example, you can say, all aboard, to mean that everyone should get on a train, bus, boat, etc., just before starting. You can also say, welcome aboard, to mean that you are glad that someone has joined a group, team, or organization. You can also say, climb aboard, to mean that you want someone to get on a vehicle or join a project or activity. Abode. The word abode means the place where someone lives or stays. It can be used as a noun or a suffix. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. Noun, he invited us to his abode for dinner. This means he invited us to his home or residence for dinner. Suffix, the hotel was a comfortable abode for the night. This means the hotel was a suitable or pleasant place to stay for the night. Abode can also have different synonyms, such as home, house, dwelling, residence, or lodging. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, home often implies familiarity or affection, while lodging often implies temporary or rented accommodation. Abode can also be used in different phrases, such as humble abode, no fixed abode, or place of abode. These phrases are used to express modesty, homelessness, or location of one's living place. For example, you can say, welcome to my humble abode, to mean that you are greeting someone to your home in a humble or humorous way. You can also say, he is of no fixed abode, to mean that he does not have a permanent or stable home. You can also say, please list your place of abode, to mean that you want someone to write down their address or location of their residence. Abolish. The word abolish means to end or stop something officially or formally, especially a system, a law, a custom, or an institution. For example, you can say, the government abolished the death penalty in 2023, to mean that the government put an end to the practice of executing people who committed certain crimes in 2023. You can also say, many people want to abolish the monarchy, to mean that many people want to stop having a king or a queen as the head of state. 
Abolish can also have different synonyms, such as annul, cancel, eliminate, eradicate, nullify, or repeal. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, annul often implies making something invalid or void, while eradicate often implies destroying or wiping out something completely. Abolish can also be used in different phrases, such as abolish slavery, abolish taxes, or abolish homework. These phrases are used to express the desire or the action of ending or stopping something that is considered bad, unfair, or unnecessary. For example, you can say Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery in the United States in 1863 to mean that Abraham Lincoln issued a proclamation that freed all enslaved people in the United States in 1863. You can also say some countries have abolished taxes on certain goods or services to mean that some countries have stopped collecting money from people or businesses for buying or selling certain goods or services. You can also say some students have petitioned to abolish homework to mean that some students have asked or demanded to stop having to do schoolwork at home. Abolition the word abolition means the act of officially ending or stopping something, especially a system, a law, a custom, or an institution. For example, abolition can refer to the act of ending slavery, which was a major social and political movement in the United States and other countries in the 19th century. Some of the famous abolitionists who fought for the freedom of enslaved people were Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, William Lloyd Garrison, and Sojourner Truth. Abolition can also mean the act of ending other things, such as war, capital punishment, unfair taxes, or animal cruelty. For example, abolition can refer to the act of abolishing war, which is a goal of many peace activists and organizations. Some of the people who advocated for the abolition of war were Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., Albert Einstein, and Bertha von Suttner. Abolition is a noun that can be used as a suffix or in different phrases. For example, abolition can be added to other words to form adjectives, such as abolitionary or abolitionist, which describes someone or something that supports or promotes abolition. For example, an abolitionary movement is a movement that aims to abolish something, such as slavery or war. An abolitionist is a person who is part of such a movement or who works for abolition, such as an anti-slavery abolitionist or an anti-war abolitionist. Abolition can also be used in phrases, such as abolition of a law, abolition of slavery, or abolition of war, which express the idea of ending or stopping something officially or formally. Abominable The word abominable means very bad or unpleasant. It is an adjective that describes the state or quality of something or someone. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. It was an abominable crime. This means it was a very hateful or detestable crime. The weather was abominable last week. This means the weather was very disagreeable or terrible last week. His behavior was abominable. This means he acted in a very offensive or loathsome way. Abominable can also have different synonyms, such as detestable, shocking, terrible, offensive, or repugnant. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, detestable often implies strong dislike or hatred, while repugnant often implies strong disgust or aversion. Abominably The word abominably means in an abominable way, that is, in a way that is very bad, unpleasant, hateful, or detestable. It is an adverb that modifies or describes the state or quality of something or someone. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. He behaved abominably towards her. This means he acted in a very offensive or loathsome way towards her. I was abominably ill-mannered as a child. This means I was very rude or impolite as a child. The jerking movement hurt her head abominably. This means the jerking movement caused her a lot of pain or discomfort in her head. Abominably can also have different synonyms, such as wretchedly, pitifully, deplorably, or cravenly. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, wretchedly often implies misery or suffering, while cravenly often implies fear or cowardice. Aboriginal The word aboriginal can have different meanings depending on the context. Here are some possible definitions and examples of the word aboriginal. Aboriginal can mean relating to or typical of the original or earliest known inhabitants of a region, or their descendants. For example, the aboriginal people of Tahiti have a rich and diverse culture that dates back to ancient times. Aboriginal can also be used as a noun to refer to such people. For example, the aboriginals of Australia are the indigenous people who have lived on the continent for thousands of years. Aboriginal can also mean relating to or being a member of any of the peoples who are the earliest known inhabitants of Australia, or one of their descendants. For example, an aboriginal tribe of Tasmania has a unique history and identity that is distinct from other aboriginal groups in Australia. Aboriginal can also be used as a noun to refer to such people. For example, aboriginals are the original inhabitants of Australia and have a diverse and complex culture that spans over 500 different nations. Aboriginal can also mean originating in and characteristic of a particular region or country, native, indigenous. For example, aboriginal mammals of the Arctic include polar bears, arctic foxes, and caribou. 
Aboriginal can also be used as a suffix to form adjectives that describe something that is native or indigenous to a place. For example, the Australian Aboriginal art is a form of expression that reflects the spiritual and cultural values of the Aboriginal people. Abort. The word abort can have different meanings depending on the context. Here are some possible definitions and examples of the word abort. Abort can mean to cause something to stop or fail before it begins or before it is complete. For example, you can say, the mission had to be aborted at the last minute, to mean that the mission had to be cancelled or terminated at the last moment. You can also say, if something goes wrong during the launch sequence the system will automatically abort, to mean that the system will stop the launch process if there is a problem or error. Abort can also mean to end a pregnancy before a baby is fully developed, usually by having a medical operation. For example, you can say, she decided to abort the pregnancy, to mean that she chose to have an abortion or a procedure that stops the development of the baby. You can also say, he declared that women have a right to abort a non-viable fetus, to mean that he stated that women have a right to end a pregnancy if the baby is not able to survive. Abort can also mean to stop the progress of a disease or an infection, especially in the early stages. For example, you can say, the vaccine can help to abort the virus, to mean that the vaccine can prevent or reduce the effects of the virus. You can also say, the treatment can abort a migraine attack, to mean that the treatment can stop or relieve a severe headache. Abortion. Abortion is a medical means of ending a pregnancy. There are different types of abortion, depending on the stage of pregnancy, the method used, and the reason for the procedure. Some of the common types of abortion are Medical abortion, this involves taking medication to cause the uterus to contract and expel the pregnancy tissue. This can be done up to 12 weeks of pregnancy, and sometimes later. The medication can be taken at a health facility or at home, under the guidance of a health worker. Medical abortion is safe and effective when done correctly, but it may cause bleeding, cramping, nausea, and other side effects. Surgical abortion, this involves using a surgical instrument or a suction device to remove the pregnancy tissue from the uterus. This can be done up to 24 weeks of pregnancy, and sometimes later. The procedure is usually done under local or general anesthesia, and it takes a few minutes. Surgical abortion is also safe and effective when done by a trained provider, but it may cause bleeding, infection, pain, and other complications. Spontaneous abortion, this is also known as a miscarriage, and it occurs when the pregnancy ends naturally before it is viable, usually before 20 weeks. This can happen for various reasons, such as genetic abnormalities, infections, trauma, or hormonal problems. Spontaneous abortion can cause bleeding, cramping, and emotional distress. Induced abortion, this is the deliberate interruption of an ongoing pregnancy by medical or surgical means. This can be done for various reasons, such as to preserve the health or well-being of the pregnant person, to prevent the birth of a child with severe abnormalities, to end a pregnancy that resulted from rape or incest, or to limit the number of children in a family. Induced abortion is a common and legal health intervention in many countries, but it is also a controversial and stigmatized issue in some cultures and religions. Abortive. The word abortive means failing to succeed or achieve the desired result. It is an adjective that can be used to describe an attempt, an action, a process, or a condition that is unsuccessful, incomplete, or ineffective. For example, you can say, the coup was abortive and the rebels were captured, to mean that the coup did not succeed and the rebels were arrested. You can also say, she had an abortive pregnancy, to mean that she had a miscarriage or an abortion. Some synonyms of abortive are fruitless, futile, vain, or useless. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different shades or contexts. For example, fruitless often implies lack of reward or benefit, while vain often implies lack of sense or purpose. Abound. The word abound means to exist or occur in large numbers or quantities, or to be rich or well supplied with something. It is a verb that can be used with or without an object. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. The streams and rivers abound in fish. This means the streams and rivers have a lot of fish in them. The region abounds in coal. This means the region has a lot of coal resources or supplies. The ship abounds with rats. This means the ship is filled or infested with rats. Abound can also have different synonyms, such as brim, swarm, team, or overflow. These words have similar meanings, but they may have different nuances or contexts. For example, brim often implies being full to the point of spilling over, while swarm often implies moving in large groups or masses. Abound can also be used in different phrases, such as abound in slash with something, which means to have a lot of something or to be filled with something. For example, you can say, life abounded in mysteries, to mean that life had a lot of mysteries or was full of mysteries. You can also say, institutions abound with evidence of his success, to mean that institutions have a lot of evidence or are full of evidence of his success. About. The word about can have different meanings depending on the context. Here are some possible definitions and examples of the word about. About can mean on the subject of or concerning something or someone. 
For example, you can say, what is this book about, to ask what the topic or theme of the book is. You can also say, I'm worried about you, to express your concern for someone. About can also mean approximately, or nearly. For example, you can say, it's about 5 o'clock, to mean that it is close to 5 o'clock, but not exactly. You can also say, there were about 20 people at the party, to mean that there were around 20 people at the party, but not precisely. About can also mean in, or to different places, or directions. For example, you can say, she looked about the room, to mean that she looked around the room in different directions. You can also say, he wandered about the city, to mean that he walked around the city without a clear purpose or destination. About can also mean ready or prepared to do something. For example, you can say, I'm about to leave, to mean that you are going to leave very soon. You can also say, she was about to cry, to mean that she was on the verge of crying. The phrase, not about to, means not willing or not likely to do something. It is used to express a strong refusal, reluctance, or impossibility of doing something. For example, you can say, I'm not about to give up on my dreams, to mean that you are determined or resolved to pursue your dreams. You can also say, he's not about to apologize for what he said, to mean that he is stubborn or defiant and does not want to say sorry for what he said. The phrase, not about to, is usually followed by a verb in the base form, the infinitive without to. For example, you can say, she's not about to change her mind, to mean that she is firm or fixed in her decision. You can also say, they're not about to leave without a fight, to mean that they are ready or prepared to resist or struggle. The phrase, not about to, can also be used in questions or negative sentences to express doubt, disbelief, or surprise about something. For example, you can say, are you not about to go to the party, to ask someone if they are really not going to attend the party. You can also say, he was not about to let her go, to mean that he was surprised or shocked that she wanted to leave him. Above board. The meaning of the phrase, above board, is honest and not trying to deceive anyone. It can be used as an adjective or an adverb. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. She wanted to make sure that everything was above board before signing the contract. He always acted in an above board manner, never hiding anything from his clients. The company claimed that their dealings were all above board, but the investigation revealed otherwise. The phrase, above board, comes from the idea of playing cards on a table, where everyone can see the hands and there is no cheating. The opposite of, above board, is, under the table, which means secret or dishonest. Some synonyms of, above board, are. Honest. Fair. Open. Transparent. Legitimate. Some antonyms of, above board, are. Dishonest. Unfair. Secretive. Shady. Illegal. Above. The word above can have different meanings depending on the context. Here are some possible definitions and examples of the word above. Above can mean in or to a higher position than something else. For example, you can say, there's a mirror above the sink, to mean that there is a mirror on the wall higher than the sink. You can also say, the helicopter was hovering above the building, to mean that the helicopter was flying in the air higher than the building. Above can also mean more than or higher than a certain amount, number, or level. For example, you can say, the temperature was above 30 degrees Celsius, to mean that the temperature was more than 30 degrees Celsius. You can also say, she scored above average on the test, to mean that she scored higher than the average score on the test. Above can also mean better or more important than something else. For example, you can say, he put his duty above his personal interests, to mean that he prioritized his duty over his personal interests. You can also say, she is above lying or cheating, to mean that she is too honest or honorable to lie or cheat. Above can also mean in a higher rank, position, or authority than someone else. For example, you can say, he is above me in the hierarchy, to mean that he has a higher rank or position than me in the organization. You can also say, she is not above the law, to mean that she is not exempt from or superior to the law. Abrasion. The word, abrasion, has two main meanings. One is a noun that means a scraped spot or area, the result of rubbing or abrading. For example, you might have an abrasion on your knee from running or falling. Another meaning is a noun that means the process of wearing away the surface of something by friction. For example, sandpaper can cause abrasion on wood or metal. Some synonyms of abrasion are Scrape Scratch Wound Bruise Graze Some antonyms of abrasion are Smoothness Polish Shine Protection Healing Abrasive the word, abrasive, can be used as an adjective or a noun. As an adjective, it means causing damage, wear, or removal of surface material by grinding or rubbing. For example, sandpaper is an abrasive material that can smooth wood or metal. As a noun, it means a substance that is used for abrading, smoothing, or polishing. For example, emery and pumice are abrasives that can be used to clean teeth or make glass. Some synonyms of, abrasive, are. Rough. 
scaly, gritty, coarse, harsh. Some antonyms of abrasive are smooth, soft, fine, gentle, mild, abreast of. The phrase abreast of means to be aware of the latest information or developments about something or someone. It can also mean to be equal to or in line with something or someone. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. To stay competitive in the market, you need to keep abreast of the latest trends and technologies. She always reads the newspaper to keep abreast of the current affairs. The runners were abreast of each other as they approached the finish line. He tried to keep abreast of his classmates in math, but he found it difficult. The phrase abreast of comes from the idea of being next to or beside someone or something, as in to abreast. It can be used with the verb keep or stay to indicate a continuous or ongoing action of being informed or updated. It can also be used with the verb come or draw to indicate a movement or change of position to be level or parallel with someone or something. Some synonyms of abreast of are informed, updated, aware, knowledgeable, in touch. Some antonyms of abreast of are ignorant, outdated, unaware, uninformed, out of touch, abreast. The word abreast is an adverb that means next to another person facing in the same direction. It can be used to say that two or more people are running, swimming, or moving in the same direction. It can also mean to keep up with something or someone. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. We were running two abreast around the track. The motorcyclist came abreast of her car and shouted abuse at her. I try to keep abreast of any developments in my field. The word abreast comes from the idea of lining up two rows of people or animals side by side. The opposite of abreast is apart, which means not next to each other. Some synonyms of abreast are beside, alongside, parallel, equal. Some antonyms of abreast are apart, opposite, different, unequal, abroad. The word abroad is an adverb that means in or to a foreign country or countries. It can also mean outside, or not at home, or going around. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. We always go abroad in the summer. Not a soul was abroad that morning. There's a rumor abroad that she intends to leave the company. The word abroad comes from the idea of being broad or wide, as in a broad spectrum. It can be used to indicate a range of possibilities or opportunities in different places. It can also be used to contrast with the word home, as in home and abroad or from abroad. Some synonyms of abroad are overseas, foreign, international, out, around. Some antonyms of abroad are domestic, local, national, in, within, abrupt. The word abrupt is an adjective that means sudden or unexpected, and often unpleasant. It can also mean curt or brusque in speech or manner, or lacking smoothness or continuity. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. He made an abrupt decision to quit his job. She was offended by his abrupt reply. The road ended in an abrupt slope. It can be used to describe something that changes or ends without warning or preparation, or something that is sharp or steep. It can also be used to describe someone who is rude or unfriendly in their communication or behavior. Some synonyms of abrupt are sudden, unexpected, hasty, rude, harsh. Some antonyms of abrupt are gradual, expected, careful, polite, smooth, abruptly. The word abruptly is an adverb that means in an abrupt manner, in a sudden and unexpected way. It can also mean rudely or unfriendly, especially by using very few words when talking. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. He left abruptly without saying goodbye. The car swerved abruptly onto the exit ramp. Some synonyms of abruptly are suddenly, unexpectedly, hastily, rudely, harshly. Some antonyms of abruptly are gradually, expectedly, carefully, politely, smoothly, abruptness. The word abruptness is a noun that means the quality of being sudden, unexpected, and sometimes unpleasant. It can also mean the quality of being rude and unfriendly, especially by using very few words when talking. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. With dramatic abruptness, a decision was made to close the school for good. He regretted the abruptness of his question. Some synonyms of abruptness are suddenness, unexpectedness, hastiness, 
rudeness, harshness. Some antonyms of abruptness are gradualness, expectedness, carefulness, politeness, smoothness, abscess. An abscess is a painful and swollen area on or in the body that is filled with pus, which is a thick, yellow liquid that contains bacteria and dead cells. An abscess can be caused by an infection, an injury, a blocked gland, or a foreign object. An abscess can occur anywhere in the body, but some common places are the skin, the mouth, the abdomen, and the pelvis. An abscess can cause symptoms such as fever, chills, redness, warmth, and tenderness in the affected area. An abscess usually needs to be drained and treated with antibiotics to prevent complications and heal properly. Some abscesses may open and drain on their own, but others may need to be cut open by a doctor in a procedure called incision and drainage. If you have an abscess, you should see a doctor as soon as possible and avoid squeezing or poking it. You can also apply warm compresses to the abscess to help it soften and reduce the pain. Abseiling Abseiling is the activity of going down a very steep slope while holding on to a rope that is fastened to the top of the slope. It is also known as repelling in some countries. Abseiling is used by climbers, canyoners, rescue workers, and rope access technicians to descend cliffs or slopes that are too steep or dangerous to go down without protection. Abseiling can be done with different techniques and devices to control the speed and friction of the rope. Abseiling can be fun and exciting, but also requires skill and safety precautions. Absence The word absence is a noun that means the state or condition of not being present or not existing. It can also mean the time or period of being away or not being somewhere. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. Her absence from school was due to illness. He noticed the absence of any sound in the house. She returned to work after a long absence. It can be used with the preposition of and a noun to indicate what is missing or lacking, or with the preposition from and a noun or a gerund to indicate where or what someone is absent from. Some synonyms of absence are non-attendance, non-existence, lack, deficiency, shortage. Some antonyms of absence are presence, existence, abundance, sufficiency, excess, absent yourself. The phrase, absent yourself, is a verb that means to keep oneself away from a place where one is expected to be. It is a formal way of saying that you do not go to a place or take part in an event where people expect you to be. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. He pleaded guilty to absenting himself without leave. She absented herself from the meeting without giving a reason. He absented himself from the country to avoid arrest. The phrase, absent yourself, comes from the adjective, absent, which means not present or missing. It can be used with the preposition, from, and a noun or a gerund to indicate the place or the activity that you are avoiding. It can also be used with a reflexive pronoun, such as, himself, or, herself, to indicate that you are the one who is choosing to stay away. Some synonyms of, absent yourself, are. Stay away. Withdraw. Depart. Keep away. Truant. Some antonyms of, absent yourself, are. Attend. Participate. Join. Show up. Appear. Absent. The word absent can be used as an adjective, a verb, or a preposition. As an adjective, it means not present or missing, or not existing or lacking, or not paying attention or lost in thought. As a verb, it means to keep oneself away from a place where one is expected to be. As a preposition, it means without or in the absence of. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. She was absent from school for three days because of illness. Any sign of remorse was absent from his face. He was absent-minded and forgot his keys. He absented himself from the meeting without giving a reason. Absent any evidence, the case was dismissed. Absentee The word absentee is a noun that means someone who is not present or missing, especially from a place where they are expected to be, such as work or school. It can also mean someone who votes by post or internet when they cannot be present at an election. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. There were 10 sick absentees that day. He was an absentee landlord who lived in another country. She voted by absentee ballot because she was traveling. Absent-minded The word absent-minded is an adjective that means often forgetting things or not paying attention to what is happening near you because you are thinking about other things. It can also be spelled as absent-minded or absent-minded. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. He was too absent-minded to notice what time it was. She is kindly but absent-minded, often forgetting appointments and birthdays. He was absent-minded and forgot his keys. The word absent-minded comes from the idea of being absent or not present in mind. It can be used to describe someone who is easily distracted or lost in thought. It can also be used to describe a habit of forgetfulness or carelessness. 
Some synonyms of absent-minded are distracted, preoccupied, forgetful, inattentive, dreamy. Some antonyms of absent-minded are attentive, alert, mindful, focused, careful, absent-mindedly. The word absent-mindedly is an adverb that means without paying attention to what you are doing or what is happening near you because you are thinking about other things. It can also be spelled as absent-mindedly or absent-mindedly. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. She absent-mindedly left her umbrella on the bus. He went to call his wife, only to absent-mindedly dial his boss. I sat there staring absent-mindedly out of the window. Some synonyms of absent-mindedly are distractedly, preoccupiedly, forgetfully, inattentively, dreamily. Some antonyms of absent-mindedly are Attentively, alertly, mindfully, focusedly, carefully. Absent mindedness. The word absent mindedness is a noun that means a lack of attention to what you are doing or what is happening around you because you are thinking about other things. It can also be spelled as absent mindedness or absent mindedness. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. In a moment of absent mindedness, she threw her keys in the bin. Some synonyms of absent mindedness are distraction. Preoccupation, inattention, forgetfulness, dreaminess. Some antonyms of absent mindedness are attention, focus, mindfulness, memory, alertness, absolute. The word absolute can be used as an adjective, a noun, or an adverb. As an adjective, it means very great, true, right, or the same in all situations and not depending on anything else. As a noun, it means a rule or principle that is believed to be true, right, or relevant in all situations. As an adverb, it means completely or totally. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. You can't predict the future with absolute certainty. I have absolute faith in her ability to get the job done. He swore an oath of absolute secrecy. An absolute is a rule or principle that is believed to be true, right, or relevant in all situations. We tend to think in absolutes. Absolutely. Absolutely is an adverb that means completely or totally. It can also be used to emphasize a strong or positive feeling or opinion. Here are some examples of how to use it in sentences. He absolutely loves his new job. She was absolutely furious with him. You're absolutely right about that. Absolutely can also be used as a short answer to agree with someone or to say yes in a strong way. For example, do you like chocolate? Absolutely. Are you coming to the party? Absolutely. Is he your best friend? Absolutely. Absolve. The word absolve is a verb that means to free someone from guilt, blame, or responsibility for something. It can also mean to pardon or forgive a sin, or to release someone from an obligation or duty. Here are some examples of how to use the word in a sentence. The jury absolved the defendants of their crimes. The priest absolved him of all his sins. He was absolved from his oath by the judge. She felt that her youth did not absolve her of responsibility for her actions. Absorb. The word absorb is a verb that has several meanings, depending on the context. Here are some of the common definitions and examples of how to use the word in a sentence. To take in a liquid, gas, or other substance from the surface or space around, plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air and moisture from the soil. The sponge absorbs water. To swallow up the identity or individuality of, incorporate, the empire absorbed many small nations. The cream is easily absorbed into the skin. To involve the full attention of, to engross or engage wholly, so absorbed in a book that he did not hear the bell. She was absorbed in thought. To occupy or fill, this job absorbs all of my time. The fever absorbed her strength. To take up or receive by chemical or molecular action, carbonic acid is formed when water absorbs carbon dioxide. The earth absorbs the sun's rays. Absorbent. The word absorbent is an adjective that means capable of absorbing heat, light, moisture, etc., tending to absorb. It can also be used as a noun to refer to something that absorbs. Here are some examples of how to use the word in a sentence. The towels are highly absorbent. Tons of high-powered absorbents were needed to clean up the oil spill. The sponge is an absorbent material that can soak up water. The skin is an absorbent organ that can take in nutrients and water from the blood. Absorption. The word absorption is a noun that means the process by which substances are taken into a tissue, for example, nutrients through the wall of the intestine. It can also mean the uptake of substances by a tissue, as of nutrients through the wall of the intestine. Here are some examples of how to use the word in a sentence. 
The absorption of glucose by the liver is essential for energy production. The skin has a high absorption rate for many drugs. The absorption of water by plants is influenced by temperature and humidity. Abstain. The word abstain is a verb that means to choose not to do or have something, especially something that is considered improper, unhealthy, or harmful. It can also mean to refrain from voting or to stay away from work. Here are some examples of how to use the word in a sentence. He decided to abstain from alcohol after his doctor warned him about the health risks. The council members abstain from voting on the controversial issue. Many workers abstain from their jobs to protest against the low wages. Abstainer. The word abstainer is a noun that means someone who does not do something, especially something they would like to do, or someone who decides not to vote. Here are some examples of how to use the word in a sentence. His grandfather was a lifelong abstainer who never touched a drop of alcohol. The problem for protest voters or abstainers is registering the reason for their actions. The government may lose the vote if there are too many abstainers. She was an abstainer from smoking, even though she enjoyed the smell of tobacco. Abstention. The word abstention is a noun that means the act or practice of not voting or not doing something. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. There were ten eyes, six nays, and two abstentions when the vote was taken. Abstention from alcohol is essential while you are taking this medication. There were high levels of abstention, from voting, in the last elections. Abstinence. The word abstinence is a noun that means the practice of not doing or having something that is wanted or enjoyable, especially something that is considered harmful or undesirable. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. Abstinence from smoking can improve your health and well-being. Some religions require abstinence from certain foods or drinks during certain periods. The program promoted sexual abstinence for young people as a way to prevent unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases. Abstract. The word abstract can be used as an adjective, a noun, or a verb, depending on the context. Here are some meanings and examples of each usage. As an adjective, abstract means relating to or involving general ideas or qualities rather than specific people, objects, or actions. For example, truth and beauty are abstract concepts. He gave an abstract summary of his thesis. She likes abstract art that does not represent reality. As a noun, abstract means a summary of the main points of a text, speech, or article, or a type of painting or sculpture that uses shapes, lines, and colors in a way that does not try to represent the appearance of people or things. For example, I read the abstract of his book, but I still don't understand what it's about. She is an abstract painter who uses bright colors and geometric forms. He wrote an abstract for his presentation and submitted it to the conference organizers. As a verb, abstract means to make a summary or abstract of something, or to remove or separate something from a place or context. For example, she abstracted the main points from the article and wrote them down. He abstracted a valuable painting from the museum and sold it on the black market. She was so abstracted by her thoughts that she didn't hear him calling her name. Absurd. The word absurd is an adjective that means ridiculously unreasonable, unsound, or incongruous, or extremely silly or ridiculous. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. It is absurd to think that he can fly without wings. She laughed at the absurd joke he told her. The plot of the movie was so absurd that I couldn't take it seriously. Absurdity. The word absurdity is a noun that means the quality or state of being extremely unreasonable, meaningless, or unsound in reason so as to be irrational or not taken seriously. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. They laughed at the absurdity of the situation. The play pokes fun at the absurdities of life. He was smart enough to realize the absurdity in all this. Absurdly. The word absurdly is an adverb that means in a stupid or unreasonable way, or to an unreasonable degree. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. You're behaving absurdly. Stop throwing tantrums like a child. It was absurdly expensive. I paid $500 for a pair of shoes. The chances of winning the lottery are absurdly low. You're better off saving your money. Abundance. The word abundance is a noun that means a large quantity or supply of something, especially something that is more than enough or desirable. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. The garden was full of flowers in abundance. He lived a life of abundance and luxury. The abundance of natural resources in the region attracted many settlers. Abundant. The word abundant is an adjective that means existing or occurring in large amounts, more than enough, or ample. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. There is an abundant supply of cheap labor. It is a region with abundant natural resources. She likes abundant art that does not represent reality. Abundantly. The word abundantly is an adverb that means in large quantities or amounts, or extremely. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. He made his disagreement with her abundantly clear. 
The plant grows abundantly in woodland. The chances of winning the lottery are abundantly low. Abuse. The word abuse can be used as a noun or a verb, depending on the context. Here are some meanings and examples of each usage. As a noun, abuse means the use of something in a wrong or harmful way, or the cruel or violent treatment of someone. For example, the investigation revealed abuses of power committed by the governor's office. She claimed to have been a victim of child abuse. He had apparently experienced a lot of verbal abuse from his co-workers. As a verb, abuse means to use or treat something or someone in a wrong or harmful way, or to speak to someone in a rude or offensive way. For example, she is continually abusing her position by getting other people to do things for her. He was arrested for sexually abusing a minor. The crowd started abusing him after he failed to save a goal. Abuser. The word abuser is a noun that means someone who treats another person in a cruel, violent, or unfair way, or someone who uses something in a way that is harmful or morally wrong. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. She has learned to forgive her abuser. How was a convicted child abuser allowed to work in a school? The center provides treatment for substance abusers. Abusive. The word abusive is an adjective that means using harsh, insulting language, or involving physical violence or emotional cruelty. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. The fans yelled abusive comments to the referee. He was arrested for sexually abusing a minor. She left because the boss was very unpleasant and abusive towards her. Abusively. The word abusively is an adverb that means in a way that uses rude and offensive words, or in a way that uses physical violence or emotional cruelty. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. He was fined for speaking abusively to the referee. She had been treated abusively by her husband. Abysmal. The word abysmal is an adjective that means very bad, poor, or low in quality. It can also mean very deep or profound in a literary sense. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. The food at the cafeteria was abysmal. I could barely eat it. She felt abysmal sorrow after losing her best friend. The team's performance was abysmal. They lost by 20 points. He explored the abysmal depths of the ocean in a submarine. Abysmally. The word abysmally is an adverb that means in an extreme and bad way. It can also mean immeasurably or profoundly in a literary sense. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. It was an abysmally poor interview. I could barely answer any questions. He plunged abysmally into the dark abyss of despair. The critics were abysmally wrong on almost every point. She sang abysmally out of tune and ruined the song. Abyss. The word abyss is a noun that means a very deep hole or a difficult situation that brings trouble or destruction. It can also have a literary or figurative sense of something that is immeasurable or profound. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. He felt a surge of fear as he looked into the abyss of the canyon. The country was on the brink of an abyss of civil war and chaos. She stared into the abyss of his dark eyes and felt a strange attraction. He explored the abyss of human nature in his novels. Acacia. The word acacia is a noun that means a tree from warm parts of the world that has small leaves and yellow or white flowers. It is also the name of a genus of plants in the pea family. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. The acacia trees provide shade and food for the animals in the savanna. She decorated her living room with a vase of acacia flowers. Acacia wood is durable and resistant to insects and fungi. The ancient Egyptians used acacia gum for various purposes, such as medicine and embalming. Academic. The word academic can be used as an adjective or a noun. As an adjective, it means relating to schools, colleges, and universities, or connected with studying and thinking, not with practical skills. As a noun, it means a person who teaches or studies at a college or university. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. She has a strong academic background in mathematics and physics. He is interested in the academic and social aspects of college life. She is a well-known academic in the field of linguistics. He left his academic career to pursue his passion for music. Academically. The word academically is an adverb that means in a way that relates to studying and thinking, not practical skills. It can also mean in a way that conforms to the tradition or rules of a school, as of literature or art, in a literary sense. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. She has always performed well academically. He was interested in the academically challenging aspects of philosophy. His paintings were criticized for being too academically rigid and conventional. She spoke academically about the merits of different poetic forms. Academy. The word academy can be used as a noun that means an organization intended to protect and develop an art, science, language, etc., or a school that teaches a particular subject or trains people for a particular job. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. He graduated from the military academy with honors. 
She is a member of the Royal Academy of Arts. He enrolled in an academy for aspiring chefs. She attended a private academy in her hometown. Accelerate. The word accelerate is a verb that means to go faster or make something go faster. It can also mean to happen or make something happen sooner or faster. Here are some examples of how to use it in a sentence. The car can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in just 6 seconds. Inflation is likely to accelerate this year, adding further upward pressure on interest rates. They use chemical treatments to accelerate the growth of crops. He stepped on the gas and accelerated rapidly to pass a car.